Hi ho everyone and welcome back to the adventures of Turwinkle the Gnome Mage. Well hi Turwinkle. Hi there. Are you all set for tonight? Sure. Well great because tonight we're going to be talking with Kaya and Finello about their in-game relationship. And so without further ado let us go find out all about how they met and how things are going. So we will be right back with that. All right, well, we found them here in the rainy ruins of Gilneas. It's a little uh, wet here, but we're underneath this nice uh, tarp with a great fire going, so we're warm and comfy here. And so we have Felino, the huntress, nicknamed Finn, wanderer of the Wandering Lantern, a level 90 Drane hunter. Hi, Felino. And we have... Yes, hello. And we have Kaya, or uh, is it how you pronounce it? Is it Akaya? A Erika? Uh, she goes by Kaya, but it's Ari Kaya. Ari Kaya, okay. And nicknamed Kaya. Lantern Alt of the Wandering Lantern, a level 90 Drawn Eye Shaman, currently content. And so thank you for coming as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it wouldn't be uh, an RP relationship if both of you weren't here, so. <laughs> So, excellent. So, folks, uh, when we come back, we will go ahead and get started all about uh, these fine young ladies' RP relationships. So, we'll be right back with that. Alrighty, and we are back. And so, my first question to both of you is, how did you meet? And Felino says, I see we met outside the Blue Recluse when Felino was still in the city before she left for the caravan. Kaya approached her while she was resting outside under a tree at dusk. Ocelia, however, me and Kaya have talked quite a bit about relationship RPs in general. Ironically, I never made Felino for RP relationships and it was never and was never interested in doing one. And yet here we are. And so Kaya, you approached uh, Felino then, is that correct? I did, um, out of characterly. Ben had gone on a couple of dates that one didn't end so well and another one kind of went MIA and I didn't originally make Kaya to be an RP character however after some discussion we decided to see where the characters went so in characterly Kaya had seen Finn around town being new to the city herself and decided to approach her and see what she was all about. Okay, so you guys had talked previously out of character about doing uh, the relationship before you started uh, your RP then, is that correct? In a way. Um, it wasn't a guaranteed relationship thing. It was kind of a make Kaya an RP character and see what developed. Oh, okay. So it allowed the RP to kind of go naturally as it were right excellent so when we come back we'll talk about how that first meeting went so we'll be right back with that folks all right folks and we are back and so Felino how did you think the, that first meeting went did you see it as something worth trying or did it take the first date to really tell and Felino says, well, since already established, well, since we already established that we would try an RP relationship with Osili, I made the decision to go with it. Funny thing is, Kaya had a clear advantage over everyone else Fen had a date with previously because she had quote-unquote inside info. Oh, Osili about what Fen likes or dislikes. So that's something I I pick on her about out of character. Uh, the first date went really well. Kaya had a well-planned out date and the caravan welcomed her with open arms. Oh, wonderful. So, Kaya, isn't that kind of cheating a little bit? It's If you consider knowing that she likes a confident person with a plan cheating, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that is pretty much all Kaya really knew about what Finn liked and disliked. And so... so as you've gone along, have you figured out more things that uh, she likes and dislikes? Oh, yeah. Okay, and what is 
some of the what's their favorite food? That I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that's strike one. They, uh, uh, <laughs> they don't eat very much. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> together. That, they, that's, um, that sounds like, like well, an excuse, Well, she does most of the hunting for the caravan, <laughs> and uh, she likes dumplings pretty well. Okay. All right. Uh, well, what is Finn's favorite color? You're asking hard questions now. Ma'am, these are these are the <laughs> easy ones. I. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> they um. They're still really getting to know each other. <laughs> okay, well that's fine. You know, that, they, that's... they haven't really approached on those questions, I don't think. Okay, well that's perfectly okay. And I did kind of throw some curveballs at you there and put you on the spot, so that's fine. So how did you? So think... see, she really didn't know a whole lot about Finn beforehand. Okay, <laughs> all right, fair enough. So how did you feel that that first date went? I thought the first date went really well. I uh, took her for a picnic. Oh, okay. And where'd you by, go? Where'd you go? Um, Olivia's Pond. Okay. And we had some... Um, oh, gosh. What did we have? I had purchased some food and some drinks and everything. Laid out a blanket. Nice little romantic setting. Gave her a red rose. Oh, Okay. So. All right. Well, it sounds like uh, you had things, like Finn's pointed out, uh, very well prepared. So excellent. So when we come back, folks, we will see where it went from that point. So we'll be right back with that. And we are back. And as you can see, folks, we've moved inside a ship that was uh, parked out in the harbor here. Uh, it's a lot drier in here. And uh, there's a nice little candle and a, a great place to sit and relax. So we're not getting rained on. Even though we had the nice tarp over us, it, it's a little warmer and, and a little cozier in here. So with that, with that being said, we asked uh, Felino, so the first date was a success. How did the relationship grow since that first date? Or how has the relationship grown since our first date? <laughs> and Felina says it's grown slowly but surely. We have RP journals on our guild site, and a lot of Felino's feelings about the relationship is recorded there in great detail. I see, Lee, though, Kai is clearly very proud to have Felino as a girlfriend, whereas Felino likes to be more quiet. Kai likes to clearly show they're together and is not very subtle about it. So, Kaya, you're not subtle about uh, being a girlfriend with uh, Felino. No. Um, Kaya is very physical with her affection. She likes to um, hold Finn close and give her kisses. She is very proud of uh, Finn and the fact that Finn is hers. Um, okay, now I'm sure... Okay, I'm sure there's uh, guys that still walk up to Finn all the time. Uh, is Kaya kind of the jealous type? Not at all. She is 100% sure in their relationship. And there have been instances where um, Finn ha she has left Finn alone with a previous possible love interest of Finn's. Oh, okay. And so, uh, well, that's good. It's uh, good to know that uh, right where you stand and not have to worry about uh, Finn running off with Turwinkle uh, down, the, down the line. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, folks, when we come back, we're going to discuss a little bit about uh, the differences between uh, human relationships and drawn eye relationships. And we'll see how, that, how those differ. And so we'll talk on that a little bit. So we'll get to that when we come back. And we are back, folks. And so, Felino, what are some of the dating, drawn eye dating rituals? Or is there even any lore on that yet? And Felino says, once again, I go into great detail in Felino's journal about her feelings about the relationship and their culture. There was a moment, however, in our RP when Felino brought up her idea of a family. Now we have this line of our characters are lesbians. How would other drawn eyes actually act to that? Our people are trying to survive still and grow 
and obviously neither of us can have a child. So there, there's questions like that that can arise in the RP. Same thing with draw and I weddings. Uh, we don't know the c customs and traditions yet officially, but perhaps we will when Warlords of Draenor expands on their lore. Hopefully we'll get to see the structure of families and gender roles even. For now, however, I'd just like to keep it simple and go with the flow. We've had some great fun RPs together and it has been rewarding, a rewarding experience. For Draenei, finding that true love and bond is very important because humans may go through heartbreaks, but imagine losing a loved one after being with them for thousands of years, which is actually an excellent point. And so Kaya, uh, have you heard of any customs or dating rituals on the Draenei? I have not. Um, you know, my interpretation of it is just that once they find that mate, that's pretty much it. And if they find another one, they're extremely lucky. Alrighty. And so I think uh, Felino brings up an excellent uh point of uh, discussion for the next segment here, and that is of the uh, same-sex relationship that you guys are in. And so when we come back, we'll talk about that. So folks, we'll be right back with that. All right, and we are back, folks. And so let us broach the subject of the same-sex relationships in WoW. First of all, first off, uh, I assumed, and incorrectly as I read her answer, but uh, that she was heterosexual in real life, which is not correct. Um, but, uh, you know, we go on to ask, did you, uh, have you run into, into any negative responses from any of our peers because of the same-sex relationship? And Filino says, I am actually bi in real life. Haven't received any negative RP, I see, or Oseli with our relationship. I actually believe down in the RP trenches there's more lesbian RP relationships and lovers than the normal male-female relationships, which I, I may have to disagree with uh, Felino there, but, you know, I don't have the numbers, actually, to say one way or the other, so, uh, you know, there's no way for me to know, really, um, and so it'd be interesting to find out, though, and I think that's a, a great, uh, great topic for discussion, really. And she also goes on to say, me and Kaya know each other uh, very well out of the game. So we always have great communication about our RP. And so what about you, Kaya? Uh, are you heterosexual, bi, or uh, homosexual? I am bisexual oh, okay. in real life. Alrighty. And so, uh, so you could have gone either way on this then, is that correct? Yes, I okay. could have. Alrighty, and have you RP'd any other relationships in the game? I have had two other relationships in the game. One um, on my druid, Ariel, um, and her mate passed away. Uh, he was played by my late fiancé. And I currently have another lesbian relationship with um, Ari Lynn and Amaril who um, Amaral's one of the guards in the caravan. Oh, okay. And, you know, for myself, I know I've seen a lot more l lesbian relationships than I've seen uh, homosexual guy relationships in the game. And uh, I don't know if it's just, for some reason, more acceptable? Uh, uh, and maybe I more gay men haven't come out in the game than, say, lesbian women? I think that comes back to society as a whole is generally more accepting of lesbians versus gay males um, for whatever reason. I uh, don't see a problem with either. Sure. But and, and, you know, and I'd be curious to know how many uh, people behind the screen are actually opposite genders of who they're playing. Uh, say a guy playing a female character with another female character and then both end up being actually both guys playing <laughs> female characters or, or how that would work but uh, it's a very interesting topic and maybe something that uh, I would look into talking into f in the future on a maybe having a whole episode just on same sex uh, relationships in RP so excellent so when we come back we're going to see if maybe uh, the question is going to be popped here. So 
the big question. So we'll be right back with that. And we are back. And so, Felino, things have progressed nicely. Have you two gone to the next level yet? Has either you or Kaya proposed or popped the big question yet? And Felino says, we have. And we have no official plans for our wedding yet. Finn and Kaya will be taking a long return home to the Outlands. One RP at a time. So, Kaya, uh, who proposed to who here? Finn proposed to Kaya. And um, how, well, hold on now. How did she, how did she do it? Uh, they were taking a day trip uh, to the Stranglethorn Vale, and they were taking in the sights of the waterfall by Fort Livingston, and uh, she proposed there. Now, were you surprised by that? I was actually very surprised. I wasn't expecting it. It yeah. was fairly early on in their relationship, but I guess when you know, you know, right? Oh, that's true. And uh, again, you know, Dron and I do live forever, basically, so far as we know. And like Fen pointed out earlier, we may get to know more about the Dron and I culture uh, in the new expansion, uh, Warlords of Draenor, which, to be honest, I don't think it's fair uh, that uh, the Draenor I get all their lore when we gnomes are still waiting for ours. But that's another subject for another episode. And uh <laughs> so, folks, when we come back, we are going to talk about that ever-elusive topic, ERP. So we'll be right back with that. So, ERP, a touchy subject for some and not so much for others. So, what is your take on ERP, Finn? Do you engage in it, and if so, to what extent? Now, did you discuss it with Kaya before starting the ERP relationship, or did you wait until that quote-unquote moment arrived? Now, Finn says, me and Kaya have done ERPing several times now, and it's an intimate moment between our two characters. It's very well written, mature, and set up. As far as what we do, well, that's not anyone's business but ours. And that's true. It's, again, I imagine it is not, Kaya, correct me if I'm wrong, it's not Goldshire ERP where uh, you're in the middle of the cathedral <laughs> in, say, doing everything uh, in your intimate moment. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Um. When we ERP, it is kept private in a party. Um, anything leading up to before may take place in emotes and say, but once it starts getting intimate, we take it private. Um, and it's not a focus of our relationship. Uh, when it happens, it happens. It's not something that's forced. and. Like she said, it is, it's an intimate moment. Sure. Characters. Now, did you guys discuss it before, uh, like I said, getting to that moment? Or uh, did you just hope that everything that you guys were going to do was going to be okay with one another? Did you discuss it beforehand? Yeah, we did discuss it beforehand. Um, we are, I like to consider us friends outside of the game as well. We have each other's phone numbers and stuff. Um, and we we discuss a lot before it happens just um, to keep communication open in order to maintain comfort levels of, our, of us each being involved. Okay, and that's, I think that's very important, isn't it? Uh, communication really is the key when it comes to in-game relationships, is it not? Yes, it is. All right, excellent. Well, I think that's all that needs to be said on that. And uh, what Drawn Eyes do with their tails in the bedroom is between them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> 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 all righty, folks. And so when we come back, we're going to seek out some advice from Kaya and Fen for all of you out there that would like to get into uh, in-game relationships. If that's something that you're looking for, we'll see what advice they have for you. So we'll be right back with that. And we are back with some advice for you folks out there that would like to get into an in-game relationship. And so 
Fen and Kaya has some advice for you. And so we ask Fen again, what advice do you have for people who would like to have an in-game relationship? And Fen says, I think a lot of people watching this may already be in some form of a relationship RP. I think it's great to have someone to always RP with, but you have to have an have to be open to the other RPer and their ideas. So it's important to establish the lines of what will and won't be crossed and even compromise. It can be difficult, almost like a real relationship, but if it works well, it can be very fun, humble experience, and if you're like me and Kaya, you'll form an even greater friendship outside the game, which is priceless in its in itself, which is an excellent answer. And so Kaya, what would you add on to that? What would you say? You know, open communication is always the key to any relationship, be it RP or real life. Um, and if either person is feeling in uncomfortable at any time, they need to be able to speak up about it at, in order to avoid issues further on down the road. Well, excellent answer. Now, let me ask you, how important do you think it is now do you guys get a lot of time to RP with each other in the game no not really um, Finn is a very busy girl and I'm juggling two RP relationships right now so Friday night is Finn's date night and Sunday night is my other date night um, and if we get the opportunity anytime during the week then we we basically jump <laughs> okay, and you guys already knew that going in to the relationship, is that correct? Yes, we did. Okay, and I think that's important an important factor uh, when it comes to in-game relationships that uh, one person doesn't feel like, um, you know, I'm going to be here every day for that other person, and that other person is busy raiding or PvPing or busy with their other RP. It can get very discouraging. And so, again, knowing what your time frame is going to be with one another I think is also very important. So uh, making it clear, this is the time that I'm going to set aside for this RP, and uh, and sticking with that because again, I myself have been in RP relationships where it's just me basically, and the other person's never there, and so your character's kind of stuck in limbo. They can't move forward with the storyline, and uh, they can't resolve uh, the current relationship with that person because they're not there so I think it's important uh, for people to again set those like you said have that open communication and knowing you know how much time you're going to set aside for one another so wonderful so when we come back folks we are going to have some final thoughts from Kaya and Fen so we'll be right back with that and we are back and so we're going to get some final thoughts from Felino and Kaya and so, say everything goes well down the line, uh, Fen, where do you see yourself and Kaya, say, five months from now? And Fen says, in five months, they'll be officially married. We shall see. I don't plan RP goals that far in advance like I do setting goals in real life. It's more what would be appropriate and fun to RP this week, which is interesting. And so, Kaya, the same question goes to you. What? Where do you see yourself, you guys, in five months? Say everything goes great. Well, they are planning a spring wedding, so maybe in five months they'll be in their honeymoon. Okay, and... A possibility. And where would you like that to be? I would have to figure that out. Definitely not on the time on the file. No, <laughs> no, but... Uh, because you'll you'll guys will be taking Turwinkle too, right? Oh no no! What? <laughs> so what? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, folks, as disappointing as that is, uh, we will be right back to uh, give our goodbyes to this wonderful, wonderful couple here tonight. So we'll be right back with that. Alrighty, folks, and we are back. And so we want to, again, thank you both for uh, taking the time to talk with us tonight and answer all of Turwinkle's pestering questions. It's certainly been 
a lot of fun and really just a joy to uh, talk with you both about not only your in-game relationship, but talk about in-game relationships on a whole. And so thank you very much. Thank you. And with that, folks, we are going to send Turwinkle back to the hinterlands where it's a little drier, uh, a little warmer, and uh, we're going to allow him to give his final thoughts on this wonderful uh, episode with uh, Felino and Kay and all about their great in-game relationship. And hopefully we will uh, be able to attend uh, their wedding in the spring. So with that... We will see Terwinkle back in the hinterlands. Go in peace. All right, folks, and we are back. Safe and sound in the hinterlands, nice and dry as well. And so what a great time, wasn't it, Terwinkle? Indubitably. Yes, so thank you very much again to both Fenello and Kaya for doing a wonderful job with that interview. Thank you. You bet. We really had a great time. So, folks, if you like this episode, hit that like button. If you would like to comment on this episode and any of our previous episodes, do so below. Let us know what you're thinking. And finally, if you'd like to subscribe uh, to the channel, to uh, the Adventures of Turwinkle, we would love to have you. Just hit that subscription button. So, Turwinkle, an excellent job as always, sir. Great questions. And Turwinkle, we will see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, Turwinkle. Bye-bye.